No, I'm going to show you the house that is art inspired. This house had three themes. First level is creation, second level is Baptist, third level is passion. It seems like it's going to rain. Look at this garden. Oh my goodness. A 6.4 meter ceiling height that flows from your foyer right on to your dining zone. Fantastic gourmet kitchen right here with chef grade appliances. Total build up 3,118 square feet. We are at about just three minutes walk to the exit point of the Kovan Marty station. I'm gonna let my feet get wet. Now this is an art gallery inspired home. We're right here in the Coven Leather Enclave. I'm heading into an inter-terrace that's freehold in status and this has been reconstructed just a short seven years back right here within the District 19 Coven Enclave. I think you're going to enjoy this home tour with Prop Tillin, brother. So let's go. Now this is only probably I think at about three minutes walk. Oh, you hear the thunder? Okay. The home tour has to go on. We are at about just three minutes walk to the exit point of the Coven MRT station. This is the North East Line. The North East Line just takes you a short couple of 20 minutes to reach Dobigo MRT station. So it's just about seven stops towards town. If you back out a little bit, you can see that this home is so beautifully done now. It used to be a single story terrace. So when our owners bought this place, in the year 2011, they have applied to reconstruct the entire place to a three and a half story. Right now, this is a place that you're gonna get if you fall in love with this place. Freehold status, land size is 1,567 square feet. Total build up, 3,118 square feet. Four beds and three bathrooms. Get to see this beautiful landscaping garden. Now, this is really like a front yard paradise. You're almost in like an art gallery zone natural stones as well as beautiful lawn that has been maintained so well over the years. One car lot here, this is Lowland Road. Now Lowland Road, you have some uh, dotted lines, lanes right on the right hand side so you can park the cars over there if you have more than one car. Your visitor can also park as well. Wow, just like walking through a very nice landscaping zone. I don't know how to describe this but uh, the moment I enter, I'm fascinated by this huge door as well. The thematic design is so beautifully done because the main theme is to bring the outdoors towards the indoor. So if you notice, they do not want to have too much compartmentalization of the spaces. They want the whole house to feel as one, which is why this beautifully cement screen sealant wall flows right all the way from the front gate towards the inner part of the house towards the backyard as well. As you enter, you'll get to see this 6.39 meter ceiling height that's greeting you from the front foyer all the way towards this beautifully done dining space, similarly with the 6.4 meter ceiling height here. And then this light permeates throughout the entire living room space and dining and kitchen, as well as the entire staircase. Perhaps uh, you can go over there. I'll say hi to you here. This is also nicely designed so that light will permeate from the back of the house towards the entire stairwell. And this is something that I think is very purposefully built. A very nice concept right here for you to slide these panels. Sometimes open shelving might look a bit unsightly, especially if you don't declutter regularly. It looks neat and organized. Right at the bottom, these are all very good materials. Bloom that's being done. At the same time, you can keep it neat as well to glide this panel over. Always remember, pull-outs are more expensive to construct. With this island sitting right in the middle, Nice solid top, stainless steel backsplash, chef grade appliance. They are all detail treat in terms of the cooker hood and hob. So induction cooker right here. The detail treat oven as well, chest height. Not forgetting the top cabinetry system. Huge space for fridge. This is right now official Packer kind of brand. Not forgetting within the island here, you still have Bloom system pull outs. Of course, more pull outs over here as well. Check out this. I think this is what I call a backyard paradise because the bag just looks simply so good. And our owners did this place was that they want the house to feel as one, bring the outdoors inwards. And if you want to know where the exact location is, let's bring on the map. 
I look at Coven MRT as the pivot point. You walk in about three minutes towards Lowland Road. There you are, because you're just right across this huge project called Coven Melody. Right beside Coven Melody is Coven Residences, followed by the other two mega projects, Coven Regency, and right across Stars or Coven. Condos right here, they're doing very well in terms of their per square foot for strata properties especially the 99 years properties right now. They're all ranging from 1,003 all the way to 1,006, 1,007, 1,800 dollars per square foot. This used to be a Teochew estate in the past, rich heritage, rich history. And the government has also in 2014 put in a couple of landmark points right here to give homage to the history for Coven. In future, there's going to be a nice huge plot of BTO that will come out. And these BTO plots are likely going to be one of the cream of the crop for HGB apartments right here in terms of its price range once it hits its uh, 5 years MOP. More often than not, within this zone, you get a 3.5-storey landed enclave status. 3 and a half story is fantastic because that means you can build up higher without having to go towards the basement level. Land plot width is 6.9 meters. The depth is 21.3 meters. In future, if you want to build in a lift provision, the lift provision is already allocated right under this storage room. Currently, this is now being used as storage room, utility room. You can also use this as a helper's room because there's ventilation windows right there. In order to start a reconstruction or rebuild work, pricing has now increased to about $350 per square foot. Averagely, if you want very good materials, you have to go up to about $400 per square foot for inter-terraces. Now that means that if you want to build up three and a half storey to about 3,500 square feet build up space, that will mean that you have to come up with at least about $1.2 to $1.4 million. At least three months for the planning phase with your architect and builder. And then another three to six months for submission. That is already about three to nine months gone. Followed by another 12 to 16 months for construction. So in total, about two years is a definite period that you have to set aside if you want to rebuild a home. So if you don't want to spend the opportunity cost, this is classified as the renovated kind of inter-terrorist that we have been talking about. I didn't know that terrazzo can be done in this fashion. This is the grey kind of modern terrazzo finishing. The walls are all done with sealant cement screed, perpetuates from the front all the way towards the backyard as well. When our owners bought this place, they wanted to create a work from home office. They want to have that easy access to the outdoor garden. So we're very close to the parking garage and at the same time having this view of the outdoor greenery. Initially, this was the living room and they have swapped the living room right now towards the family area right on level two. But this is a very flexible zone. All you need to do is to bring down this wall you have a full flow of living room space right here for TV console right on this wall line and then your sofa set and then your walkway is unalterated. All you need to do is just to do a little bit of modification. There you go, you have your living room back here right on level one. There is a home shelter right here and an under staircase storage right tucked in the corner. Something that's very interesting is that they have designed the guest bathroom to be here as well. Now, these are all custom-cut stainless steel strips. So it's meant to lighten the tone of the staircase so that it doesn't feel too heavy. At the same time, it's complemented with solid timber strips. As we head upstairs, you'll notice a lot of all these small little details. Wooden panelling right here, as well as building lightings along the stairwell. From here, you can actually look downwards towards your dining space. You can hang probably a beautiful modern chandelier downwards towards the dining area. Now, all these are important because it brings light towards the entire home. Currently, they're using this room to be their living room because downstairs, remember, they have used the living room as their work from home office. So once you converted that back to a living space, you can convert this back into the bedroom that you want in your level two. This room, huge in size. You have your own set of windows facing towards the back. Here, you can look towards your backyard paradise that I mentioned. The moment we come out, what you notice is that solid timber, wooden flooring all throughout the bedrooms, the staircase. Master room, beautifully done. So these nice walls right here, they are built in a fashion to give you that kind of resort feel. And at the same time, it maintains privacy. 
probably up to about 1.8 meters uh, in my height. Now we have pulled down the blinds because it's raining. So if you pull out the blinds, you're going to see a beautiful panel P right at the front. There is a nice crosswind ventilation right from the front and the back as well. And at the same time, there are a lot of beautiful three lines canopy already outside on the street itself. That gives them the opportunity to build this kind of balcony and merging towards with the ensuite bathroom. So as you come towards the ensuite, you are as if like in a resort hotel. Just check out the material that has been used. You might be a little bit concerned, you know, when you buy landed properties that is already a couple of years, starting to see a little bit of crack lines here and there. But based on what I see here, this is lovely in terms of its structural material. Right outside, you still have a carpeted artificial turf balcony that spreads towards outside. That will take in the heat that you do not want in your master room. It will just absorb the heat right towards the entire balcony space and then keeping this entire zoning very cooling. So if you come here with me, still have a lot of shelvings right here for you to put your stuff. Nice little openable area for you to put your handbags. This two huge sliding panel for you to put in a lot of your clothes. Owners have also designed most of the doors to be sliding panel in nature so it doesn't have too much of the open and closing kind of system. Over here you can look downwards towards your foyer area so the entire area is all done in a very nice flowy kind of theme. So level 3 we like this fact that there's a small opening right here that brings in the natural light towards the stairwell. And then as we head up, this is the white terrazzo. Now you have a common area right here with nice display bookshelves. And then as you come towards the fourth bedroom on level three, this is your sliding panel. A really customized table right here as your piano room. You can use this as a very nice bedroom fronting towards the front of the house. So you'll notice that the master room and this room on level 3 has its own balcony that is very different from the usual balcony. Usual balcony is that you walk out, there's a glass panel outside that's half height. This balcony is natural. It gives you the privacy you need. When you buy a landed property, you get direction from four different angles, front, back, left and right side. So this contains whatever heat that it needs to contain. And at the same time, it will be permeated by the natural airflow that comes in right from the ventilation funnels as well. Whatever glass that is contained within, it does not become like a greenhouse effect kind of thing. So I think it's a very beautiful architectural design. You can sit here, chill a little bit at your beautiful artificial turf that looks beautifully done and that curvax all the way to this side as well. We like these huge panels of windows overlooking towards the back of Lowland Road. The bathroom is right here. Oh my goodness, check this out. Outdoor sink area here. I think it's pretty interesting because you only do get this in resorts. And then this room also has a huge sliding panel door. Okay, so this is bedroom 3. This room is slightly smaller in nature. You can put in your queen bed right at this area where I'm standing at. Let this be your storage area. And then if you need to work or you need to use this as your kids' room, your kids can actually work here, use this entire space as their study desk with a lot of natural brightness coming in from here. When you close the sliding panel door towards bedroom number 3, you will review shelving right at the back as well. A lot of functional usage of the space so you don't waste spaces even though you need to close certain doors or open certain doors. Let's head up to the attic floor. Now, attic level has a separate washing bay. If you notice, huge panels, windows as well. And then as we head out here, I think for the purpose of this home tour, I'm going to let my feet get wet. Check out my socks first. When you buy a landed property, you want to have outdoor space right on your roof terrace as well. What our owners have done is that they want this space to have front and back kind of outdoor space. 
Even for the roof, you notice that it's all done with uh, sealant cement screed right here all the way. And you get to see the entire coven at the front. As we walk to the back, you get to see the deeper part of coven. And right within, of course, the coven enclave, you have the international school which is right behind us. They're also within about 1.5 kilometers to a lot of good schools. Paliba Methodist, Holy Innocence Primary as well. You have Singhua Primary. You also have a couple of secondary schools right here. Let's bring up these uh, four categories of houses. First category, houses that are single storey, or one and a half storey, or maybe two storey which are older in nature, 30, 40 years old. Very suitable for you to do a rebuild. Take note that right now you want to get any houses with a similar land size is at least close to about 2.8 to about 3.2 million dollars depending on the land size. Based on this land size, at least a bad minimum of close to about 3 million dollars. You set aside about 1.2 million for about 350 dollars per square foot for build up cost. That is going to bring you to a total cost of about 4.2 million dollars plus 24 months of rebuilding. Second category, going for houses that are about 20 to 30 years old, you need to spend maybe about 300,000 to renovate, 600,000 to do A&A. A&A &A right now is also not cheap, will cost at least close to 70% of a rebuild cost. Do bear in mind before you commit to an A&A, &A, so your total cost might amount to close to about 3.5, 3.6 million dollars. Third category were houses that are straight from housing developers that are buying older land, rebuild. Similarly, housing developers are also facing rising costs in construction. We have builders network, we have architects network. The cost after COVID has already increased in terms of construction costs in manpower, in the materials from developer. It might be even bigger than this house, maybe close to about 3006, 3008 kind of build up area. But uh, based on some of the statistics that we have seen, asking price is at least close to the 4.2 to 4.5 million dollars mark in D19 Coven and Cliff. So final category is this house, less than 10 years old. Owners moved in 2014. They reconstructed from a single story to three and a half. You get a house that is functional and modern. Asking price $3.8 million. Very well priced home, slightly negotiable. Free home status in the first place to get a house position that is close to the MRT but yet not facing towards the front road. It is not easy to find. If you want something that is below 4 million, yet it's a modern home, this is a sweet spot. And uh, I'm gonna head down wear back my socks and <laughs> I'll see you downstairs on level 1. I'm done and uh, thank you for staying with us throughout this home tour right here in Lowland Road where in this uh, very beautifully art-inspired landed uh, property right here in the inter-terrace status, freehold land is walkable within 3 minutes to Cover MRT station. Asking price $3.88 million negotiable. When we sell landed homes, we always like to share with our buyers on what are some of the potential that you can do within this home. If you want to have a look at this place, give a call right on to our listing managers. They'll be very happy to give you more details. You can either view this virtually, you can view this on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. At the same time, you can also come here physically with a scheduled appointment. My name is Melvin Lim, take care and we'll see you soon. And the freehold inter terrace with an architecture that combine and the freehold inter terrace that combines and the freehold inter and the freehold inter terrace land that com Ah <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Right, hello. Very entertaining and I really enjoy. Thank you, thank you. I'm looking through the videos. Sure, thanks, thanks. Thank thanks for the encouragement and support. Okay, cheers.